What you're seeing on the screen right now is what we're going to be learning in today's video. So make sure you stick around to learn exactly how to do this. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is QQ and as you saw in the beginning of the video, we're going to be doing just that. That is smooth, easy zoom in and zooming out of the video. First up, we want to open open shot. Now, why you may ask why we do this? This is mainly for tutorial videos or you just want to emphasize to put it in a part of a video. And you want the zoom to look something really nice and smooth. What you do first is you want to make sure your playhead is on your time, I mean on your clip. Once the clip is on the time and now, then you want to zoom in a significant amount. I believe it, it, it should be a significant amount. It depends on your personal preference. Uh, I'm gonna play the clip really fast right now for you guys to exactly see what what's our aim in this video so you can see that's my mouse over there and then I want to zoom in right where I hit the subscribe button so what I'm going to do is right where I hit the subscribe button I'm going to make sure my player is there and you need this property tab on your left side if you don't have it just make sure you right click over here and hit this property icon over there and this should open up and then what you want to do on skin X and skin Y just Double and right click and insert keyframe. Double right click again, insert keyframe, and for the location X, insert keyframe, location Y, the same thing. So you can see now there's this green thing, and as soon as our playhead is on that, we get this green thing over here, which is signifying that the playhead is right on the keyframe. Then what we want to do before the zoom, where we want the zoom to actually begin is somewhere over here. So it's going to do the same process. That's inserting the keyframe. Uh, like that so this is going to be the default values what open chart originally had and let's just go back over there perfect and this is going to be the values that what we want to add so I want the zoom to be three times so it's going to put three here as well here as well and for the location of the Y I don't want to change that but for the location of the X I would like to change that so it should be something negative so let's try 0.80 Oh, that's let's try 0 0.90. That that should be perfect. So now we're we're going to get this dramatic zoom. So let's let me just play in front of you guys to see exactly what are we looking at. Okay, so you can see that it was a really nice smooth zoom effect. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the place where we wanted the zoom. So you want it in here, I believe, yep, it's in here, let me just go a bit frames behind, let's stop it over here. And then we're going to insert uh, the same keyframes, now we're not going to touch the value, it's going to be the same value that we did uh, for the second uh, keyframe. And then over here is when we want the original values, so then we're going to do the same thing again, insert keyframe, insert keyframe, insert keyframe, and insert keyframe. And over here we're going to set the default values that was 1, 1 and 0 here I believe, yeah there we go. And now let's just watch the video and see what we're looking at right now. So with that, that is the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Geekrit here and with this video, I hope you guys understood how to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for all the support you've been showing me so much lately. Once again, my name is Geekrit I'm going to see you guys in the next video pretty soon. Bye bye.